Okay, so let's start off right away with a couple of obvious techniques that would be a good way to showcase each one of these picks. The first one is gonna be a pick scrape, and then uh, we'll try to do some pick tapping as well just to start this video off. So let's go ahead with the Tortex pick. We're always gonna start with that first. And let's just do some pick scrapes. Here we go. Okay, let's try the metal pick doing pretty much the same thing. I'll try my best. So to me, the clear winner out of that one is the metal pick. It's just the metal on metal sound. Metal, metal. Okay, let's move on to pick tapping. Uh, let's go back to the Tortex pick. I thought this would have a big difference in sound just because of the different materials tapping against the string, tapping against the fretboard really fast. But let's see. Okay, I really love the way this Tortex pick bounces on the fretboard. It just has a really nice feel to it. Let's see if the metal pick can live up to that sort of feel as far as tapping. sounds good, it just doesn't tap as well as the Tortex pick. It just doesn't have that bounce to it the way I would like. So I had to work a little bit harder to make that tapping sequence happen, but uh, I did like the tone of it. It did have sort of a cutting tone, which I really liked. I'm afraid it would chop the string in half eventually just because of the metal on metal, but I could be wrong. All right, let's try some good old fashioned tremolo picking. Uh, another thing that I thought would definitely have a difference in sound, just because you're going so fast on one string and you could really hear the attack. So let's go back to the Tortex pick and just do some uh, tremolo picking. <laughs> Little master of puppets there. Okay, let's switch to the metal pick and see if there's a big difference. One thing I liked about the tremolo picking with a metal pick is that it was really easy to keep it going because it's such a smooth sensation, the metal on metal like that. With the Tortex pick, there's a little more friction, so you have to work a little bit harder, but I think the tone is a little bit better with the Tortex pick. Now let's switch more towards riffs. Let's do a one string muting type thing like Eye the Beholder by Metallica. Tortex pick first, let's go. Now let's switch to the metal pick. Let's see if there's a difference. Let's do a different type of riff. Let's try like painkiller, uh, starting with the Tortex pick. One thing that keeps happening is the metal pick keeps sliding off of my knee, whereas the Tortex pick doesn't. So that might play a factor in my decision. Okay, painkiller, metal pick. Once again, I'd have to say the metal pick wins out on that one just because it sounds a little more screaming to me. It's got more of a bite to it. What about just like a quick lead section just to see how each one sounds in a musical context? Let's go with the Tortex pick doing a little bit of Cowboys from Hell. <laughs> Let's do that with the metal pick and see what happens. Once 
Once again, the Dunlop pick has a little bit more of a full body to it, whereas the metal pick, it's a little more screaming, but you lose a little bit of that mid to low end range. If I did something a bit slower, you could probably really hear that. Let's try part of um, Sweet Child of Mine. <laughs> Metal pick, and almost slid off my leg. It's very subtle, but I could hear the difference already. Now let's do a weird little three string sweep lick. It's just a kind of a fun circular type thing because I really want to see what these picks feel like as they brush across the strings. <laughs> That feels pretty good to me. I'm used to that feel. Let's go to the metal pick and see if there's a big difference. I was a little bit afraid of this. Okay, the metal pick feels so good sweeping, but it doesn't sound as good in my opinion once again. But the trade-off is almost worth it in this case. It just feels so slick to brush across those strings, especially the high strings here. Okay, that's crazy. Now what I want to do is I want to switch to clean sound because usually if you go to clean, you can really hear the uh, the sound of the pick against the string with too much distortion, too much saturation, that could get a little bit covered up. But let's see if we could really expose the differences between these two picks and clean sound. So let's start off with Tortex. We're just going to do sort of an arpeggiated riff that I wrote. Let's go like this. <laughs> If you saw my newest Metallica video where I tried to guess what the song sounded like based off of just the vocals, uh, you'll be uh, familiar with that riff. Let's try it with a metal pick now and see if there's a big difference. <laughs> So there's not as big of a difference as I thought there was going to be. With the Tortex pick, I thought it was going to be a lot rounder sounding. So let's hear it one more time. Metal pick. A little bit brighter, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's better in all situations. I would have to say for this one though, it sounds pretty good, especially if I added chorus to it. I think the metal pick with a chorus would give it a real crystal sound. Only way I can explain it. So I ended up learning a lot by playing these two picks over the last week. Each one have their advantages and disadvantages, but they're not as major as I thought sound-wise. When it comes to feel though, that's kind of a whole different world. I really love the way the Tortex picks kind of stick in your hand. There's a grip to them uh, and they sort of conform to your fingers over time. So they'll start to bend a little bit and stay a certain shape that you're used to holding. And it feels really good as you play them. They don't slide off your knee all the time, whereas the metal picks do. They don't flex, they don't conform to your fingers. They're slippery, you know, I couldn't imagine sweating on stage and trying to hold on to one of these. So I'd have to kind of scrape some grips into it if I really wanted to use it live, I think. But the advantage is that the metal pick does not get worn out. It won't get all dull on the sides, it'll stay sharp. So that's really cool in a lot of situations. I play the Dunlops for about a week or two weeks and all of a sudden I feel like I have to exchange it for a new one because it got a little bit too dull. But as far as sound goes, I would have to say they're a lot closer than I thought they were going to be, except for maybe with pick scrapes and maybe a couple of different licks. I would have to say that uh, it's not a world of difference between the two like I thought. So will a metal pick make metal sound more metal? I would have to say yes, but only slightly. It adds a little bit of bite to what you're playing, but I mean, you could always add that on your amp by cranking up a little bit more high end too. So in the end, I don't think it's worth me switching to a metal pick anytime soon. Uh, for now, I'm gonna stick with these purple Tortex picks. And uh, who knows, I might change in the future, but for right now, the evidence isn't strong enough to make me want to change over. Okay, so let us know in the comments section what you thought of each part and uh, which pick you would prefer, sound-wise at least. And if you've played with metal picks before, let me know what your experience is. I'd really love to read about it. So we'll catch you later. Thank you.